So Manson, that's wide open space. So it's uh, the latest of our Christmas dues. Well, it's an all-day Christmas party on Six Music today. Uh, the latest in our own drive time Christmas uh, run of Christmas parties. We've had our Scar Christmas party, of course. Uh, we had uh, our punk rock party last year with the Damned and Ruts DC. Uh, taking something of a journey back to the 90s uh, this year. We've got Sleeper playing live uh, later on. Mark Morris from the Blue Tones. Louise Wenner and Mark Morris are here with us. Manson, <laughs> wide open space. I play that. I've actually given the game away. I mentioned this to Louise earlier on. But we were in the same room together today in 1996 yes. when Sleeper played at... The Ilford Island. The island in Ilford. Yeah. Which was a, a sort of... I mean, I'd ne- I've never been, to a, I'd never been to a gig there before. Never been since. But it was... It was more, what is it? A nightclub? Was it a sort of nightclub? I'm not sure. I meant to know, because like, that's where I'm from. It's my manor. I was going to say, it's know, your, it was your big homecoming gig. I should know gig. every detail of yeah. this venue, but I don't. I think, yeah, we played there, and that was the only time I've really been to. It wasn't somewhere I went when I was a kid or anything. Right, right. Um, but it was a great gig. It, it was, was a, a good great gig. gig. Yeah. Manson, do you remember? So, uh, Manson, uh, the ever-changing look of Manson. Manson that night had turned up in their combat goth gear at that point where Manson seemed to be supporting every band in the world. Were they looking quite hard? A little bit. A little hard, yeah, 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 a little bit. <laughs> Manson ever support you? No, they didn't. No. Oh. They didn't. I, I, I didn't support everyone Manson. else. I can't, and I didn't follow their looks that, that closely. I don't remember the, the uh, combat goth. Combat goth. Look. That's what I call it. Yeah. I remember the kind of the sort of piratey look that they went for. Pirate, with the, excellent. They went through. Six. They went yeah. through a lot. Bless her. Paul Draper. Frilly after, shirts and oh, after, We should after, go after pirate now. No. <laughs> I have, unfortunately, I have no idea where you were on December the 14th, 1996. I couldn't find it online. <laughs> Give me a minute. No, I, I can't remember either, Steve. You would have thought we both had good years, though, 96, yeah? Oh, yeah, I know. We were, we, that's when we played the Roundhouse around that time, wasn't it? And was it? You came on our tour bus to interview us. Oh, yeah, and that was... It was absolutely freezing in the venue. Yeah. <laughs> it was before they... That's why I was on the tour They renovated it. Uh, yeah. So it was that's literally right. just an empty shed, and we put a stage and some toilets and a bar in there. Yeah. And we thought, what else do you need? Maybe yeah. some heat. Yeah. <laughs> You don't and, need uh, heat. That's well, the next night we that's what the audience was yeah, exactly. in there to warm it up because it was tricky. <laughs> right, cold. Yeah. And just say, is it heat or cold that makes your guitar go out of tune? Both. But mm. uh, right, so that's another problem. Yes. For for an artist such yes. as yourself, a consummate professional. <laughs> I think cold <laughs> tightens your strings and the heat loosens them. Is that right? Is that right? Let's go with that. Yeah, that, that, that's the heat yeah. expands them. <laughs> would you, you go, Would you have science. played on the same bill at any point? God, Festivals, I, maybe. I, I don't think. You know, I don't think so. I don't think we did. I don't no. think we did. I think we would have been on different days. I've hardly yeah. really crossed until quite recently, That's did they? That's true. Yeah. Really? It seems mad. We we really said hello. Yeah, oh, we no, would have. I remember oh, one we night not? we played in Leeds and you were playing on the other side of town and we just played at the old what's that place that used to be under the tunnels? Oh the cockpit. Yes, we played at the yeah. cockpit and I bumped into John that night. Right. Because he was outside <laughs> queuing to get in. <laughs> And, well, I knew, and we kind of saw Deed all the time because he was good yeah, friends with our old manager. Absolutely, right. yeah. But our paths never really crossed, no. did they? It's because I remember uh, going to see you uh, on tour with, the, with Supergrass, the really early tour, that, at Manchester Academy 3, something like that. That's, that's when, right. When you were selling that little blue vinyl 7-inch. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, and I saw that gig on the Friday and then went to see Sleeper on the Saturday in Sheffield at the Lead Mill. Sheffield Lead Mill, yeah. brilliant. Yeah, great weekend. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Happy days. <laughs> but I mean, uh, both obviously you've been wor- uh, both very busy uh, and uh, out uh, gigging. So you, uh, yourself at Blue Times the other week at, at, the, at the Hundred Club, mm-hmm. and you've been, you know, been t- uh, and you've written new stuff along the way as well. And you seem, I mean, that Hundred Club gig, you know, it's, it's Blue Times are really good, aren't they? <laughs> you know, right? You yeah. Kinda, well, we've, we've become oh, well. something of a cabaret band these days. <laughs> and I think you know because the songs we've been playing for so many years. You've, think we'd finally learned them and we finally have yeah and i I think we just have a little bit more fun now we deliver the the shows we've done have morphed into something that's kind of part well it's it's entertainment rather than uh, an indie gig but i've also seen you uh, (laughs) live a couple of times on your own as well because obviously if people don't know you've released um some solo records Mm -hmm. and works uh, works on you know some really interesting stuff as well which i think pushes you in a uh, pushes you as a songwriter i think a little bit stops the cobwebs from sort of setting in i suppose yeah Yeah, i've done three solo records and i've collaborated with a few people it was it was that or do the brainly uh daily brain teaser thing on online was it there's still time for that okay (laughs) 
<laughs> and sl- and Sleeper have been back in a studio with, we bumped into Stephen Street the yes. other day, the producer, yeah. who was saying he's been working on uh, That's right. your new he album. Pro- he produced our new album. Your yeah. new album. Our I never thought album. we were going to say that. He produced our new album. I'm going to say it again because I really like saying it. Our new album. Yeah. How was it recording a new album after all this time? It was great. I think it was the most fun. I, mean, I always loved recording probably more than almost anything else. So you love performing live and doing the gigs, but oh, recording an album is just great. Watching it sort of take shape from sort of early demos to getting in the studio and watching it grow and turn into something. It's really exciting. Are you harder on yourself now, a little bit easier on yourselves within the, within the band? I mean, um, I imagine, you know, there would, would be times where you'd be ticking each other off in the old days. I, yeah, there's not much ticking off no, anymore. We no. just you just sort of get on with it because everyone's got other stuff going on and we've got busy lives and you just want to do the best with it and not sort of get too hung up, hung up on it. I think. Yeah. I think in the old days everyone sort of cared so much, but in a sort of a way that was almost sort of a bit damaging because you yeah. just were yeah. an- too analytical yeah. sometimes. Uh, the Sleeper Records, uh, the Modern Age, is out next year. There's uh, a tour to accompany it. Uh, the Blue Tones will be playing as well, and Mark has his own dates, uh, including Southampton Heartbreakers on the 19th of January, uh, and then. This is good routing. And a week later, Inverness. Well done. Yeah, yeah. Right. good routing, Excellent. Mark. Good. Well done. Good. Uh, and, it, and tonight you're in? I'm in mean, Winchester. I'm going to have to dart off after my session. Yeah. yeah, OK. All right, well, we, shan't, we shan't detain you any longer. Thank you very much. You'll be hearing from Mark Morris and Sleeper later on. The Six Music All Day Christmas Party. Here's something else uh, suitably seasonable. This is by The Crystals. Oh. 